How to earn the Azure vehicle coding along with our first glimpse of the close up look of some of the banished characters and how it has some ties into some concept art for Halo Reach, as well as how to earn yourself some awesome challenge swaps in Halo Infinite. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of news and informational videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps with the YouTube algorithm more, so more people get a chance to see this video and stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. So you guys remember a while back in the recent community update from Unishek showing off some of the new uh, coatings that you can have and they had the Azure coating that you can have for your vehicles now. And now we finally have the opportunity to earn that coding. And again, just like all everything else, it's tied to a promotion. This is tied to a Kellogg's promotion. It's only in the US people. So I'm sorry everyone outside the US on this one. But the way it works is that essentially you buy a Kellogg's product like Fruit Loops, Eggos, Pop-Tarts, Pringles, Cheez-Its, whatever. You buy that product, you sign up on their website, you take a picture of your seat, you send it in, and you have an opportunity to either get a 14 or 30 day code for Game Pass Ultimate, which is like a $15 value right there. And you also get the vehicle coding, which is probably valued at $5, probably the same thing as uh, armor coatings as well. And so ultimately guys, like that's like a $20 value for buying like a box of Pop-Tarts. Yeah, that's pretty good. I definitely want to jump on it. I know I will because I'm probably going to have diabetes before the <laughs> before Halo Infinite releases with all these junk food pieces of junk food that are tied to promotions. But hey, man, it's where we're at right now. Keep in mind, guys, this Kellogg's deal is only for the month of November. You have to buy something within the month of November. You have to submit that receipt by the end of 2020. So if you buy something on December 2nd, and you try to take a picture of it and put it in, it will not work. December 1st is the cutoff day. Basically just think of like, no, I have to buy something Kellogg's in November for this whole thing to work. That's one thing, very important thing. It's only a month long, but so jump on it when you can. And so a really cool thing has recently just happened, guys. If you do know with the Monster Energy drinks, they do have a promotion right now with Halo Infinite. And this is the final month to get yourself the adrenaline coating for your battle rifle as well, that you'll finally get the last code that you input and you can save it onto Halo Waypoint so you can bank that and then get it later. And so this really cool promotion, once you scan the can, shows the Banish, like a close up and it looks super cool. I love the art style that we have for Halo Infinite. It looks fantastic. You get to see the Brute looking pretty freaking awesome right there. And then you have the Grunt, which looks pretty awesome. Very reminiscent of Halo 3's Grunt, which is super great. But we do know there's going to be multiple styles of art styles of Grunts. I think, we, you know, from we've seen it from the gameplay trailer, that uh, we do see some Halo 4, Halo 5 inspired Grunt models as well, which yeah, I'm all for that. Sure, I wasn't too bent, bent out of shape about the different types of Grunts that were in there. And then we also see a, the Jackal as well. Again, very reminiscent of the classic art style for the Jackals as well, which is great to see. Uh, I haven't seen any eyes in for the more recent Halo 4, Halo 5 uh, style of Jackals. So this is looking like to be just like that one kind of style, which maybe I'm all for that one as well. And then you have the coolest part right here is the Elite. It just looks so good. Like it looks, that's what I picture an Elite to look like. And it looks awesome. And the interesting thing, you look at the armor, it's a unique armor set that we haven't seen with the Elites before. That's because it's based off of some concept art from Halo Reach, which is just so cool to know that they're tying into that. There's a lot of ties into Halo Reach with Halo Infinite, guys, which is so cool to see. Uh, you know, I love the art style for Halo Reach as well. So being able to see that coming into the new game is just so cool. I am currently also making my way through the Shadows of Reach audiobook right now. I think I'm like chapter four, something like that. I think I got like about 10 hours off to listen in on there. And so I, no spoilers yet, but you know, there is a lot of ties to Halo Reach with Halo Infinite. Uh, and exactly how, not totally sure at the moment. As like I said, I'm still making my way through the book because the book's supposed to be kind of like the, uh, the connective tissue between Halo 5 and Halo Infinite. So we'll see why there's such a strong emphasis of Halo Reach within Halo Infinite. Yeah, guys, scan your monster can, get that code, type it on the Halo Waypoint, and then you get to type it in and you get the uh, adrenaline BR scan, which looks awesome. I still have no idea how to get the AR or sidekick. It's really complicated from what I've seen though, but I just can't remember it because 
It's so many extra steps and loopholes you gotta jump through that it's just kind of like almost not even worth it. <laughs> and do you enjoy snacking? Well, I bet you do because there's also some Butterfinger promotions going on. We did talk about this earlier in another video, but I messed it up. And so I kind of want to clarify the whole thing again. Butterfinger is also doing a promotion right now where you can get some new emblems. Every two Butterfingers you buy, you get a new emblem. And there are four emblems to earn, meaning you have to basically buy eight full sticks of Butterfingers. I know, diabetes on the way, but that's what we gotta do, guys. The interesting thing, though, once you get past up to 10, you earn what are called challenge swaps, which are super cool. So, if you guys don't know, the challenge system's coming back in Halo Infinite. Pretty awesome. You should have clarified it on Twitter as well. Basically just saying it's gonna work kind of similar how you would think like a uh, Halo MCC with their challenge system and you know it helps you progress through the uh, progression system that they have right there which is pretty sweet to know. Uh, but the challenge swaps will let you change a challenge that you may not want to be wanting to do. Say like get 30 kills with a sword and for some reason you just hate the sword in Halo. You never like using it and you want to change it to like something else. They'll probably give you like a randomized roll of what kind of challenge you would get next. But it's just a way to kind of change up your gameplay style. So then you don't have to do the same thing over again. There's very similar things like this, like in Apex Legends, where it uses a currency system for you to change your challenge however you would like. So Halo Infinite's coming in and doing the same thing. Now, is there gonna be like some paid way to earn these challenge swaps? We don't know. Is it something that's earned within the pro projected battle pass that's gonna be coming with Halo Infinite? We don't know either. We just know that, that it's in the game and the challenges are coming back in Halo Infinite, which is fantastic. And the way the Butterfinger thing works as well, again, just take a picture of receipt, make an account, Take the picture of that receipt, send it in, they verify it, and then you get, boom, your new emblems. You have to buy 10 of these Butterfingers for you to earn uh, a set of five challenge swaps. So the promotions keep on coming, and uh, I don't expect them to stop anytime soon, especially with the holiday season coming around as well, guys. You know, we probably see these going on probably until the end of this year, and we'll see what happens after December, but I'm assuming throughout this, uh, winter months the holiday months we'll probably keep on seeing some new uh things popping up as well if anything comes up that's interesting that might reveal something like we did with the challenge system with the butterfingers you definitely know i'll let you know on this channel guys though i guarantee you i will be picking up that azure vehicle coding guys because like i lie i do love me some pop tarts sometimes they're not too bad what's your favorite pop tart let me know in the chat I do read our comments and try to reply to most of them as well. If you like these kind of videos, want to stay up to date with more content going on, guys, check, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. S'mores, Pop-Tarts are the best Pop-Tarts. Peace out.